Hi and welcome to this video on the introduction to the elements of music and today we are looking at dynamics. So welcome, um, in this video I'll give a brief explanation of what the eight elements of music are and I'll go further in depth information on what dynamics in music are. So the eight elements of music are dynamics, form, harmony, melody, rhythm, texture, timbre and tonality. So each of the elements of music are like an ingredient in a recipe. Just like a recipe needs a little bit of some ingredients and a lot more of others, they all contribute to the overall flavour of the dish. The combination of an amount of an ingredient is like the chef adding their personal flair and spice to a dish. So too, a musician and composer uses the elements of music to flavour their musical dish to suit their taste and personal style. So just a more in-depth information. Um, definition of each of the elements of music. So dynamics simply put means how loud or soft the music is. Form is the order and arrangements of the parts of the music. Harmony is the instruments that support the melody and chords. Melody is a series of pitches that makes a tune. Rhythm, how long or short a sound is. Texture refers to the layers of sound and how sparse or dense the music is. Timbre is the unique sound quality of an instrument or sound and tonality is the overall sound of the music as pleasant or unpleasant. So the elements of music dynamics, let's have a look at what these are. Dynamics in music refers to how loud or soft the music is performed. It's that simple. But because musicians and composers like to make things interesting, and sometimes difficult, there are lots of different musical terms that can be used to describe what the dynamics are in a piece of music. Usually, the music terms used to describe dynamics are called Italian terms. Many, many years ago, when music in the Western European tradition started to become systematised, it was decided that all musical information written on the musical score would be in a common language, Italian. In the chart, you can see all the basic dynamics terms commonly used in music today. Essentially, dynamics fall into two main categories, loud or soft. The, dy the dynamic music definitions in this video will go from the softest to the loudest in Italian terms. In real life, music that is performed very, very soft, or pianissimo, would be almost at a whisper, whereas music performed very, very loudly, or fortissimo, would be music that is deafening and as loud as possible for the instrument or the ensemble as a whole. So in this diagram and chart, you can see that on the top are all the dynamics terms for loud, and on the bottom are all the dynamics terms for soft. So I'll start where it's PPP or pianissimo, which means very, very soft. PP or pianissimo means soft. Piano, which is P, means soft. MP is mezzo piano, a little soft. MF is mezzo forte, a little loud. F is forte, which means loud. FF is fortissimo, very loud. And FFF is fortissimo, fortissimo, very hard to say, very, very loud. So what about changes in dynamics? So changes in dynamics um, are used by the composer to make um, lots of interesting things in the music. So there are three main things. There is crescendo, which is gradually getting louder, a decrescendo, which is gradually getting softer, or a sforzando, which means suddenly or with sudden emphasis. So in the Baroque musical era, the dynamics performed in a piece of music used what we called terraced dynamics. This means that in the music, a section would be played at a certain volume level, then the next section at another volume, without any graduations or subtle changes in between. A great example of this is in Vivaldi's Spring from the Four Seasons. Click the link in the description to listen to how the composer has used dynamics in this piece. Over time, composers and technology developed so that changes in dynamics were used in pieces of music. There are two main changes in dynamics terms, crescendo and decrescendo. A crescendo is when the music becomes gradually louder, and a decrescendo or diminuendo is the opposite and is when the music sorry is when the music becomes gradually softer in volume. I like to think of a crescendo as going up a hill and it's a bit harder to walk up a hill so it gets louder. Okay, you have to put in more effort. Where a decrescendo is I thinking I'm thinking that you're going down a hill and it's a bit easier to walk down the hill so you're getting softer. 
The theme music to the movie 2001 A Space Odyssey, composed by Strauss many, many years prior to when the movie was actually made, is a perfect example of changing dynamics used for a very dramatic effect. The music also uses another common dynamic term called sforzando. A sforzando is a common emphasis or accent in the music. Just um, In this music, just before when the timpani sounds like they are marching really loudly, or forte, um, fortissimo, the orchestra suddenly gets very loud at the end of a very slow crescendo. This is a really good example of a sforzando. And in the music, it's um, you hear it's, you know, it's, it goes boom, 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 da, 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 da. That's the sforzando. Excuse my bad um, um, example of that, but you'll hear it in the music. So why are dynamics important? Dynamics in music are very important because they can add a lot of emotion to a piece of music. When a piece of music is performed very softly, it evokes emotions that are in stark contrast to music that is very loud. Let's face it, heavy metal music is not meant to be listened to quietly, and a lullaby that is sweetly sung to help a baby or young child sleep is not meant to be screeched as loudly as human poss humanly possible. The dynamics of a piece of music can help to wake you up, can help to put you to sleep, can help to motivate you to get dancing, or even help you to con concentrate and study. So next time you listen to a piece of music, try taking note of the different dynamics being used in the performance. You could even try mapping out the dynamics on a piece of paper. Even better, try changing and adding some dynamics to your next performance to help improve the experience for yourself and the audience. So remember that the elements of music are like ingredients in a recipe. Sometimes it is a good thing to try something new. You never know, you might like the flavour. If you would like a free set of the Elements of Music listening question cards to begin your music appreciation journey, use the link you can see here, or there is a link in the description below. You might even want to check out what resources are ready for you to be armed um, to purchase and download today in my store, Junior Teaching Res Resources. Use this link to browse over 500 music class products that are ready for you to use today. Until next time, happy listening. And I'm Julia from Julia Teaching Resources. Again, thanks for watching. You can find all the um, classroom resources ready for you to use today in my Teachers Pay Teacher store. Make sure you click the link in the description below to find my store, Julia Teaching Resources. Thank you for listening.